Hey guys, Brito here. Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, episode number four. Now, we've done a live stream for episode number three, and I'm pretty much recording this straight after. I've just loaded back in, I've realised. Can't get to the junkyard, but we've got two buns up here. So let's go and have a look and see what we can find. We've only got six grand though, because I have since found out that when we reset our points, we lose $7,000 every time you reset your points. So that's why we lost points in the live stream, which is extremely frustrating and very bloody annoying, and that is extremely loud. I don't know where this barn is, but it sounds like it's next to a freeway and dog kennel or something. Anyway, whoa, wow. I think that's a Dodge Charger Super B. Not a Super B. Um, is it even a Dodge Charger? I can't remember what it's called, but it's used in NASCAR, old school NASCAR, awesome. El Camino, so we can buy the car for $27,000. Buy. Oh, I don't have enough money. I think we did. Beautiful, this is an absolutely beautiful car, I'd love to be able to buy this, but $51,000. We've got here... Wow, what is that? I, it looks familiar, front end looks familiar. No idea. Anyway, what? $47,000. Okay, so we'll start over here. Let's um find all the junk. Let's just take all the junk we can. I don't know if this is going to cost us money to get it back to the shop, but we'll see anything that we can find junk wise take back to the shop and if we can't fix it we can sell it and make money. Seriously sounds like we're near a bloody dog kennel or something. Let's take everything. Before we leave we'll make sure we check and see how much money we've got. I mean, like all these parts they're if they're free to take back it's pretty much just you come into a scrapyard and take them whatever the hell you like, which is great. Can't afford to buy a car yet, like even if we had have not lost that $7,000, we still wouldn't be able to afford to get one. So we're pretty much just, um, what the hell is that? It's like a bloody farming implement. Plow. Make a road to point you put the seeds into the ground. The Farm Sim 17 thing, which is in Car Mechanic Simulator. Anyway, I'd love to buy this thing. Big ass V8 engine in it. Can't pull any parts off it, but you can't see what's actually right and wrong with it. I think we've pretty much cleared this barn out, so we can inventory heaps of stuff. Go back to our garage. Ooh. Okay, so this is going to cost us money to take parts. Why is it three thousand six hundred dollars? Haven't got that much as far as parts wise. Anyway, we'll quit without parts. We don't want to take. We don't want to pay that sort of money to take a part we can't use. But anyway, that's a barn find. We can't afford to buy a car yet, but we've been to a barn on the bright side. I pretty well need to um, maybe do a fair few missions or car repairs off camera because we've lost that seven thousand dollars. So if we had have kept that, I mean, we potentially could have found something. But yeah, it's a, a little bit frustrating. But one, I didn't know about it. Two, it didn't actually have a pop up and say this is going to cost you seven thousand dollars for receipt points because I wouldn't have done it at all. But anyway, it is what it is. Well, load on in. So we've got a couple of cars here ready to go. This is another story job, which we can't read story, of course some stupid reason that's not working properly. So that's another issue. Um, I might actually quickly 
screenshot that so I can send that through to them as a, um, an issue. What about this? You can fix that pretty easy. And that's a pretty quick, easy job. But we might grab that car. Still got a barn up there. Go to the test track. Take out the Salem Kieran. Well, now I've found a barn. Now I know that this just randomly pops up. We don't have to unlock it or anything. Um, we're obviously going to need a lot more money before we can um, do anything. So I'm not really sure if it's even going to be worth going to a barn just yet until we can actually repair the majority of our items. This thing has like literally no get up and go. It's like grandma's car. I'm gonna drive it like we stole it anyway. Yeah, uh, uh, the customer didn't see that. All good. This is, the thing is bouncing around like nothing else. Let's give it a bit of a drift. Oh yeah, drift. <laughs> oh well. They spend a lot of time working on um, graphics and fixing and repairing cars, but they don't do a lot of time on driving. We should have probably spent a little bit more time on how the cars feel to drive. I just touched it. Touch it to slow down, it locks the bloody brakes, so. Steering is shocking. Massive amount of oversteer. Slow down. Bounce off the tyres. Didn't cause any damage. Oh yeah, that's fixed. Well, not fixed, but tested. So we'll see what sort of parts we found and what we still gonna need to repair. When she loads in, of course. Do, 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 do. Come on, come on, there we go. It's coming. So a lot of issues at the front end. Still got heaps of parts I haven't found yet. God. Right, let's move it to test path. Let's move this onto the lifter. We know what we need to fix with this thing. So we need middle muffler, exhaust manifold, and rear muffler. Muffler, middle muffler, middle muffler, manifold, um, 14 turbo, I believe, uh, and exhaust. I can't remember what the other thing was. Rear muffler 14, not even close. Oh, wrong button. Rear. Muffler 14, there we go, beautiful. So we're gonna have to exhaust manifold off. We're gonna have to take the turbo off. Take the exhaust manifold off. manifold on. And we probably could have tried to repair it but it does, I didn't even realise before, but it does actually cost you money to repair things. You don't, it's not free like it used to be in coming out Simulator 15 so and if you go to repair it and it fails I'm pretty sure it's still going to cost us money anyway so. Right, that's that done so let's lift this bad boy up, check our cools. No more story modes, but there's a few um, exhaust jobs. Just checking out the cars. RX-7, beautiful car. Okay, so we need to take off the middle muffler, the rear muffler, 
put a new rear muffler on. It'll let us click on it. Let's get a bit closer. There we go. Car's done. $692. Wow, I thought that stuffed up again. Okay, I don't know if we'll be able to fix these anyway. No, no items to work with. Um, $7, $11, and $22. Thank you. Uh, let's um, head on in here. Let's mm, let's shut the door. Every, the only one time I have done it without shutting the door, it didn't work. So, just in case, we'll shut the door. Test our front brakes. Not great. Test our rear brakes. So the story behind this one is, from what I can remember, is the guy that brought this car bought it off a friend. Nice and cheap, and obviously there's heaps wrong with it. Hence why everything is absolutely terrible. It's going to cost him an absolute fortune to bloody fix it, but anyway. Just notice we've got a pressure washer over there too. There's heaps of stuff wrong with it. Check that out. Pressure washer over here. Now right, let's uh, move it back to the lifter. Let's uh, get out of here. Is that all the parts now? No, there's still parts we haven't discovered yet. So, um, OBD scanner. I'd like to get that and also the compression tester. So let's do that. Just in case. Let's, um, where are we? I don't know where we go to test it. We might have to actually click on the engine bay first. Can we go? There we go. Examine tools, OBD scanner. Doesn't have a port to do it. Okay. Um, there's a few parts that aren't discovered yet. There's four parts. We'll get all these things. Wow, there's... This job is going to literally take us 10,000 hours to do. I'm not sure what other parts are going to be like. We might um, take the radiator fan housing off. Radiator off. Let's have a look. Did that? Did they come up? No, they didn't. Okay. I know last time I did that, it, it was actually that. So, battery looks good. This cross member doesn't look good at all. Um, is there anything else that looks a little bit dodgy? Starter doesn't look too bad. Um, I'd say that cross member needs to go. I don't want to have to go through and pull absolutely everything apart to find out what all these other parts are going to be. So there's four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, like seven parts that we haven't found as yet. They're obviously not um, suspension things, they're not tyres, so... Not exactly sure what they're going to be, to be honest. Can't take the door and stuff off, so... I don't know what what the parts are going to be. Is it... Let's, um... Take these belts off and have a look. Just in case, because it could be something down in here. Let's get this um let's get this out of the way so we can actually see what we're doing. Timing cover, belt tension up. In gear, let's have a look, any of that stuff come up? No, not what I can see. Um Spark plugs. 
No, they, they look fine as well. Not sure what it's going to be. In there looks okay. Uh, where's the fuel filter? Looks okay. Oil filter looks okay. I have no idea. The air filter looks okay if it looks like that from this side. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't have to rip the whole bloody car apart, but I know that cross member looks a bit dodgy. Um, Tommy belt. 55%. The worst part is, it usually tells you, it usually says um, repair with minimal parts condition. Um, I'd usually say anything below a certain percentage needs to be fixed. I'll let the roller can go on. Crankshaft pulley can go on. Belts can go on. Radiator can go on. That can go on as well. Um, yeah. I, I don't know what else there could be, to be honest. Anyway, let's um, get it up in the air and get started. Let's get these rims off. Look at that, the, the bolts aren't even in the right bloody spot. Well, they obviously still haven't fixed that yet. I'm not even clicking on that. I want to click on the brake pads, thank you. So, out of the tie rod's going to go. In the tie rod's got to go. Off suspension arm. got to go. I really think this has got to go as well. We need to take bushings out. So let's um, try and get this other one out. Get this rubber bushing out. Lower suspension arm off. Cross member's only 15%, so let's take off oh, the wheel first. I really need to fix this. It's something that is just absolutely stupid, to be honest. Outer tie rod end. Inner tie rod. Steering rack looks like it needs to go as well. Yep. Um, let's have a look. We found some more things we have. So, cross member, brake pads, discs, which that should have really came up. Should that have not came up when we did the um, brake tests and stuff? Anyway, I don't know. Off, ventilated disc off, wheel hub cap, wheel hub bearing, front wheel hub, it looks fine, but that looks fine as well. That suspension looks fine, all this stuff doesn't look too bad. That, uh, yeah, it doesn't look too bad either, I suppose. Sway bar. We'll cap there. Let's take the bearing out. Only, yep, so wheel hub cap there. Um, brake pads, wheel hub cap. There's two things that we haven't found yet. Um, is everything 
off there. It should be. What do we need to take out? Wow, oh, okay. Let's get these wheels off. No, the wheels, not the brake hopper. These rear discs look shocking as well. I probably should have just pulled all this apart instead of looking through the bloody engine, shouldn't we? Anyway. Absolutely disgusting. Some big issues with brake discs and everything. Um, no, that's that's done. So that's got to come out. Uh, Robert Bushing's going to come out. Let's go and have a look now. Is that everything? Looks like it is. Okay, now. Go through this slowly. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rubber bushings. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rubber bushings. Eight rubber bushings. No, that one's fine, so seven. Ten, just in case. <laughs> um, I wish there was a way that you could just like, grab that and go add to list like suspension, add to list. Okay, you need to actually click on stuff like that. Is that actually added to list now? Front exhaust section, oh, I don't know. I don't know how that even works anyway. That's oh, frustrating. Oh, we're not doing that. Get out of there. Come on. Um, car status. Okay, so we need two brake pads, caliper, three brake pads, four brake pads. Four pads, two caliper, two ventilated discs. So is it four pads? Four pads, two caliper, two ventilated discs. So four pads, two calipers, two ventilated discs. Sorry guys, just quickly turn my heater down, it's getting bloody hot near. Um hide out. Solid rear axle drive times two. Solid rear axle drive times two. This is probably the worst part about this game, I think. So steering rack, inner tie rod, outer tie rod. So two inner, two outer, steering rack. Steering rack. Inner. Outer. Right, let's start putting this thing back together. Um, right, we want wheel hub. Fine. Rear axle drive. Brake disc. 55% is fine. Brake pads. We need new ones. Brake caliper. Uh, let's go 55%. Uh, axle 
actually. Let's go. Okay. So we need a new caliper on the front. Oh god, this is frustrating. Having these cameras are a pain in the butt. And one on the rear. Okay, so no, we want to put things on, not take it off. So that solid rear axle drive. We want brake disc. We want new brake pads. New caliper. Back on. Ah, oh, screwing in from behind again, of course. Put our rubber bushings in while we're here before we get bushings in. I know we probably brought way too many, but I think we can sell them for the same price that we paid for them anyway. Quickly go. Um, there. Now. Oh, I don't want that. So everything at the rear end is done. Okay, let's get to the front. Let's mount cross member B. We haven't done. Okay. Wrong thing. Front. Suspension cross member B. Yeah, we can put in our new bushings. Just go through this. I could probably put other things in that are right in front of me, but we'll get everything done one thing at a time steering rack we did buy a new one yes we did in a tie rod we brought a new one out of tie rod we've got a new one oh suspension arm we haven't got those yet okay let's go across to the other side in a tie rod if we can get the to move right spot down a tie rod front wheel hub it's all good the brake is ventilated um, is it this side that needed one or is it the other side I'm not sure to be honest brake pads yes Wheelhub bearing, yes. Wheelhub cap, no, okay. I don't think it was that caliper that needs to be done. Okay, so let's go around the other side. Wheelhub 55%, it's fine. Bearing was fine. Brake disc ventilated. Brake pads, yes. Brake caliper, uh, no, that was fine. Okay, now I'll quickly get rid of all these other parts that we've done now. One, two, three, four, five, six things we haven't done yet. Okay. So we need to grab obviously lower suspension arm. We don't have yet. We need to grab wheel hub caps. Wrong button again. Um, so go lower. Suspension arm, two wheel hub caps times two. So 
fit the whole suspension arm in. That, that, and that. I know we're probably um, losing a little bit of money putting brand new bits in, but I don't think it's going to hurt us too much. Let's go around the other side now and put this lower suspension arm in. It's turning into a bloody massive job. Little hub cap on, tire on. Let's have a look. Everything's done. We're going to make $5,000 payout though, but quickly before we do anything else, just because we're the best mechanic in the world, of course. Where are we? Let's check his dipstick. No, dipstick. 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 So he's got a little. Not quite enough oil in it, so let's uh, top it up for him. Because he spent so much money with us today. Beautiful. So everything's done. Five thousand dollar payout. Spark plug missing. Oh damn it! This happens when we take out too much stuff. Because we are the best mechanic in the world, obviously. <laughs> if you remember spark plugs, that'd have been great. So yeah, cost you five grand to get your car fixed, mate. But now um, sorry, but it uh, it won't start anymore. There we go. And there's the normal bug. Save return to menu. Very frustrating. Pain in the butt. So we'll quickly head out. We'll quickly load back in. Make sure everything's still good. And then we'll call it an episode, I believe. That should be end of episode number four. Loading time. Still a little bit slow. It's not too bad, I suppose. We're in $9,000. Got another job come through. So my car doesn't start. And even when it was working, the sounds it made were strange. Every morning I woke up the entire neighborhood, please do something so it would work out and not. So it would work and not make such noise. Okay, we'll take that order because I'm still trying to push through these story modes, the story jobs, which are pretty cool. Right there guys, so if you enjoyed it, as always, smash that like button, leave a comment, let me know what you're thinking of the series so far, if you've got the game, um, how you're going as well. Let me know what you think about that bug, like, that bug is very frustrating, it's it's really annoying to be honest. Like you, The um, wheel nuts are in the wrong spot when they come off when you put them on they go in from the back instead of the front and it just crashes everything and it's bloody stupid they need to fix it as soon as they can but anyway if you haven't subscribed already please do so yeah it's been Brito's Gaming thanks for watching we'll see you again soon